she's just one of the most humble, hardworking, beautiful human beings that I've ever met. So I couldn't wait to do this for her. And I saw her crying through the window. Victoria and Jack here for another edition of Holy Moments Alive. Each day, we're pulling a holy moment prompt from this bowl to help inspire an amazing collaboration between us and God. Yesterday, the prompt was to tip generously, and I cannot wait to share with you what happened when we did. Okay, I just got done with my holy moment. I went to First Watch to get a cup of coffee where I know one of the waitresses there. And I know a little bit about her story where a few years ago, maybe three years ago, she moved back home. She escaped a really, really toxic relationship, stopped using drugs and alcohol, and has really turned her life around. And she works really hard to have the life that she has today. And she's just one of the most humble, hardworking, beautiful human beings that I've ever met. So I couldn't wait to do this for her. So I just got a cup of coffee and left her a big tip and I saw her crying through the window. So that was just really cool. Um, and just, gosh, what a beautiful, beautiful holy moment. I'm, I'm grateful that I have the means to be able to do that for somebody. And I think that she felt really loved and seen. And what better gift can you give somebody else besides that? So what a great holy moment. You know, I'm actually kind of jealous that you got that one. Well, nothing is actually preventing you from doing this one too. You realize that, right? Well, that's an annoyingly good point. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the whole point of this isn't to restrict you to one holy moment based on the prompt that we give you. No, it's meant to inspire and encourage collaboration with God. Come on, man, get your head in the game. Uh, nice, nice. <laughs> but speaking of prompts, uh, we have one for you today. You ready? My high school baseball coach used to say, say that to me. Get Come on, man, get your head in the game. <laughs> he flashbacks, was right. flashbacks. Yeah, he was right. It still applies. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, this one said. She just said it louder. <laughs> I, and, I can say it louder. And meaner. Get your head in the game. <laughs> Yeah, that was chilling. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad. I'll be a great parent. Yeah. Okay. All right. This one says to write to someone you admire and to tell them why. Oh. You know, I actually have a lot of people I admire. That's great. Am I maybe one of them? Let me think about that. Why don't you share what you want to share and then I'll think about that. Okay. All right. Well, in our world today, there are so many things that we have backwards. And one of them is that we now look for the one reason, the one flaw, the one thing that someone did that's supposed to ruin them entirely forever. Today is an invitation to look for a reason to admire someone. Even if you disagree with them or have significant differences with them, there is something about them that is remarkable or good. And we're encouraging you to find that and to look for it. Looking for the best in those around you is a great holy moment. Okay, so I've thought a little bit about it okay. and what are the chances I could get your address? Oh, really? Am I the person that you admire? No, I was thinking about your husband, Darren. So. Oh my God. Yikes. <laughs> Worst. Why don't you come back tomorrow to see who I actually write to and how that holy moment sends a ripple of goodness into the world. In the meantime, you can keep sharing your holy moments by emailing me at info at dynamiccatholic.com with a short video, or you can simply comment in the section below. Okay, well, until tomorrow, keep the holy momentum going. Holy Moments Alive is made possible by the Dynamic Catholic Ambassador Club. Click here to spread holy momentum by becoming an ambassador today. When you do, you will receive today's featured product for free. For free? For free. Wow. Amazing.